Hi, my name's Sophie. Today we're here at the Student Lounge doing a project for Reconciliation Week. Come on in. <laughs> so just taking a picture from this pile here. Grab a picture. Grab a photo. So I just have to go down there? Yes, so just add it over on here. Can you tell me what's going on in this image? Um, no. I can't. <laughs> no. It's the AIM mentoring people. Yep, yeah. so they're usually at most of our events. Do you know what this picture is? It's from the uni. That's right, so that's one of the Welcome to Countries from Open Day. Did you know the government actually authorised nuclear and atomic testing? A lot of Aboriginal people are still affected by the fallout. I didn't actually know that. This is one of the recognised events to get um, change made to the constitution to have Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people recognised as the first people of Australia. The university runs a language course every summer for two weeks. So Task Force was actually the first um, institution to allow Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people to study oh. and it was started here at UniSA. That's pretty cool. We are starting the next row up. See. So many images representing so many different things. Is it forming something? I think it's, I think it's some feet Can't down there. Oh wait, there's an image in the image. Oh, yeah, it's his feet. People standing feet. Wow, that's actually really cool. It's like feet in the sand. Looks like it's at the Power Cup. It's run by Port Adelaide Football Club. It's to do with Sasser as well. And then they get to play in the grand final. The tent embassy is still in existence today. I didn't know that. I thought it had Thank been you. dismantled. UniSA community members have come today to place these moments in time. Reconciliation Week 2017 is all about how we take the next steps together.